Hello students. Um, I want to do a little intro video for you to kind of explain uh, how some of the things work in the uh, 1101 class. Uh, this class uh, is listed as a hybrid, uh, which means that there will be almost weekly in-class activities that you will need to come to the lab in order to complete. Uh, in your weekly lessons in Blackboard, it will say if there's an in-class activity or not. Okay, if, if there is not an in-class activity, then there's no requirement that you come to campus that week. Okay, uh, let's see. The lab hours and location are listed in the syllabus. Uh, I have two lab tutors that work for me and they are there during the day. Uh, they will hand out your, uh, your in-class assignment to you. Uh, let's see. They're they're very knowledgeable. They have both graduated <clears throat> from the from the drafting program, uh, so they're very knowledgeable about what uh, what assignments that you're doing. So if you need assistance, you can ask them. That's what they're there for. Um, my schedule varies from semester to semester. So some days I'm on campus, some days I'm not, uh, but I'm always accessible through email or on WebEx. Okay, let's see. Okay, Blackboard. So when you come into uh, to Blackboard, of course you're gonna you're gonna be on the Start Here tab, <clears throat> and that's where this video uh, is residing. Uh, so you can you know you'll be there. So you're watching it. So you're already there. Uh, you got to complete this syllabus graded activity. This is our no-show activity, and it has a deadline. Okay, that you'll have to participate, you have to complete it, or you will be dropped from the class. That is all there is to it. Okay, you must complete it. All right, once you do, uh, the first two weeks assignments will open up for you to see. Okay, so yeah, do this as, as soon as you can at the beginning of the semester. Now, you're going to be downloading um, two different s softwares for the 1101 class. You're going to be downloading AutoCAD and the Autodesk Design Review softwares. And so this video here from Autodesk is how to register for the software. And so watch this. And then once you follow the instructions here on how to download and install the software, uh, it will explain how to register better. Their video explains it better than I could. But you will need to, to register and confirm eligibility before you're able to download the software. Now, it's important that you get the software as instructed in the syllabus. Because if you download a newer version of the software than what we are using in the lab, I will not be able to open your files. And then if you do some work at home and then you bring it to the lab, you will not be able to open it either because the softwares are not backwards compatible. So it's very important that you download the version that is stated in the syllabus. Okay, so that's software. All right, Blackboard announcements. Um, okay, so the syllabus resides here. If you need a new computer, the technology requirements here uh, explains what, what it is you're going to need to look at to buy. Uh, instructor, my email, my phone number, my office location. Uh, I'm, I may or may not be in my office, so a phone call, chances are you are not going to reach me on the phone. An email is the best and quickest way to get in touch with me. Uh, if it's during work hours, I'm on email constantly, and then I check it you know, in the mornings before I come in and in the evenings before I go to bed. If it's something critical, I get back to you just as soon as I possibly can. Okay, any announcements that come up uh, will get posted here, and they will also show on the course homepage. The announcements will be will show up right there. Okay, and this one was just about the no-show activity, which you got an email on that already about it. Okay, the calendar. Um, right now, the assignments do not show up because the semester has not begun yet. 
But once the semester starts, the assignments will show here on the calendar on their due dates. If you, if you click on an assignment here in the calendar, it will take you to that assignment in the lessons. However, just use the calendar to see due dates. Follow the lessons tab to, to follow the assignments because there's going to be things that you need to do or read or, or work on that are not in the actual assignment page. Okay, so, so follow stuff on the lessons tab here. All right, so things are divided by units. Um, unit one has weeks one through five, but right now weeks one and two are showing up. So the way this works is there's usually an overview of what you're doing that week, okay? Uh, so this just gives you an overview of what you're gonna be doing. And then you, you can either go forward by page number or you can click on them here. Now this first, this first week is some reading. Uh, there is a quiz right here, the worldwide graphic language comes from chapter one of the textbook. You're gonna be registering for the CAD learning video tutorial site. Okay, and this is a link here that explains how to register for it. Um, once you get registered and logged in, this shows you how to get to our particular, the lessons that you will be using. Okay, so there's a lot of videos you're gonna watch this semester from, from the CAD learning site. And their videos are about how to use the software. So it's software instruction. Uh, my videos, which are posted on YouTube, are how to do a, a specific problem. Okay, how to do something specific to an assignment. Uh, so it's not so much software instruction. Okay, let's see, to, to quiz. Let's look at a quiz right here. Okay, when you launch a quiz, it gives you a description uh, of, of what it is, what pages it might be in, or what chapter, or things like that. You click here to launch it. This gives you the description. Again, it tells you about the quiz. If there are multiple attempts allowed, it will tell you that here. Uh, it tells you if there's a time limit, those kinds of things, okay? Then you go begin. Um, okay, so sorry, okay. Multiple attempts, forced completion, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this question, question number one, is a single word answer. So you would type in the word here. Spelling is critical. It must be spelled correctly, just as it is spelled in the textbook, okay? Um, this is a two word answer, okay? So there's two words that go together. You would type that in. Uh, this particular one here is a numeral, okay? It's been estimated that blank percent to blank percent of the cost of product, blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay, so you would type in the number. Okay, a true false question. I'm looking to see if there's anything. Ah, so here, CAD is an acronym for, and you see there's three words. The first two words are separated by a hyphen. Okay, so it's exactly as it's shown in the textbook. Okay, so you go through and answer them all and you go save and submit. I'm gonna back out of that, back to here. Okay, uh, another way to submit work is in what, we, what I refer to as a Dropbox. Okay, some of the assignments will actually say Dropbox, others if they're really long, do not, okay. And so here, what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, complete this particular assignment and submit your drawing file in this Dropbox. And so here you would browse to the file, uh, find the particular drawing file that I'm asking for and attach it here. If you want to write a text submission for me, you would write that right here and I would see that when I go to grade your assignment. Uh, Comments down here don't show up when I'm grading until I go into your individual um, individual submission. Sorry, kind of blanked out there. So better to do something right here in the text submission. All right, and then you would go uh, submit. 
I'm going to cancel out of that. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Got an lessons quiz. Okay. So I, that pretty much does that. Okay. So in class assignments, um, this is on the folder. It would tell you if you need to bring something with you. Okay. Like you may need to bring your textbook or you may need to, in a different class, you may need some drawing equipment or something like that. If you need to bring something with you, it'll be there. And then there'll be something there, but you, you you're, feel free to read this and look through this, you know, that's fine ahead of time. It's just what you're going to be doing. You need the handouts in the lab. Some of the things you have to physically use something from the lab. Some uh, it's just a handout and you'll do the work there. Okay. Okay. So while we're here, I'm going to look at the YouTube videos. A lot, all of my, all of my instructional videos are loaded on YouTube. You can play them here within Blackboard and they will play. They will not maximize within Blackboard or they used to not to. I guess they still don't. So you can uh, you can always go share and open it or double click it or whatever and open it in YouTube so that you can maximize the screen size. OK, the videos are, are organized in, in YouTube by a uh, a playlist for that particular class like yours would be an 1101 playlist but the videos may or may not be in sequential order within the playlist okay so don't just hit the playlist and start watching them one after another F go through the lessons and watch them in the order that they're giving here um, in the lessons tab okay so all right so now let's go over here to my grades Um, once you've submitted something, it will show up here. Once you've started it, it will show up blue. If you've submitted, if you've done a quiz, it will be graded automatically. Unless there's something that I have to manually look at. Okay. If it's something you submit in a Dropbox, then there'll be a yellow disc showing that you have submitted something and I have not graded it. Okay. Uh, in a case like this, view rubric, this shows you, you know, the rubric that I use to grade with. If I've already graded yours and you look at it, it should give you scores based on the rubric. Okay. Uh, once you submit something, once I grade it, I recommend that you go back in and you check, go back and check to see if I made any comments on your drawings or if I sent you a drawing back or some document back uh, with corrections or, you know, instructions on how to do better with it. So it's, it's important that you go back and check what I have returned to you so that you can learn and do better uh, going forward. Okay, so grades. Okay, drafting WebEx. The lab tutors uh, will be on... Uh, on WebEx during the day when the lab is open, uh, during my office hours and often during the day when I'm in the in the office, um, I will be on WebEx also. So you can log into WebEx and we can do a video call or an audio call, either one. Um, if I'm not on when you come on and you need uh, you feel like we need to uh, to talk about something, then you can email me and make an appointment, and then we can. You know, we can do the video call. We can do screen sharing so that you can show me what your problem is and I can show you a solution to it. Okay, so someone is available on WebEx just about every day during the week during lab hours. Okay, let's see. All right, uh, I want to talk about file types. So when you're working in AutoCAD, there's there's four different file types that we <clears throat> excuse me I said four well there's different file types that we deal with mainly is what's called a DWG file or a drawing file 
So when you do a drawing in AutoCAD, it will save it as a DWG file. That's what you need to turn into me so that I can grade it. Okay. Now, having said that, most of the assignments tell you what to name the file. If some of them, I, I may have not put in there what to name it, but please always put your last name in the file type, in the file name. Okay, so that when I, because when I download uh, all of the, the drawings for an assignment, Blackboard puts like this huge name on each file. Okay, and so it's not just whatever you've named it, my thingy or, you know, whatever. Okay. It, it gets like the course number, the date, the year, the time, your student 900 number and, and just all kinds of stuff. So it's a huge file. And I, I don't memorize your 900 numbers and the grade book doesn't show them while I'm grading. So I have to look somewhere else to see whose file is whose. Okay. So please put your last name in the files that you're going to be turning in. All right, so a DWG file is the main thing that we're going to deal with in AutoCAD. Um, a DWF file, a DWF, we call it a DWF file, and that is used in the design, um, the Autodesk Design Review Program. It's kind of like PDF for CAD files. Okay, and so I, I will provide you with some of these in the assignments uh, so that you can have a, a 3D view of the object or you can have a, um, you know, it may be the layouts of the drawing sheet, so things like that. Okay, so understand that a DUA file will not open in AutoCAD. You have to install the Autodesk Design Review. Okay, um, I... Uh, as far as PDFs go, I use the Adobe Acrobat program, and I set my computers up so that Adobe opens PDFs as opposed to a web browser opening them. Uh, I find it works better that way. If I have to print a PDF, I find it works a whole lot better to do it from within Adobe Reader as opposed to trying to do it through a browser. Okay. Uh, once you have uh, worked on a CAD file and saved it, you will notice uh, that you have a BAK file. And I don't have one listed right here, but the, the file name will be the same as here. And then the extension over here, the file type, will, it will say BAK file. That is a backup. I cannot open your backup, so don't send me your backup file. All right. Another file type I want to show you is right here. This is a, it's called a DWT file is the suffix. It's a template file. And I will be giving you template files to use. And there's one assignment where you will turn in a template file to me. Everything else needs to be saved as a DWG file. Okay, I'll give you warnings to begin with. And then I will start taking points off if you're turning in a template file to me when you're supposed to be turning in a drawing file. All right, so that covers uh, a lot of the information I needed to, to tell you about. Um, like I said earlier, and in multiple videos and in emails, the best way to contact me is through email. Um, and I, I am more than willing to answer your questions. That's what I'm here for. In an online program, you, the student, have to take the initiative to contact me because I don't know what you're thinking and I don't know what problems you're encountering. So don't feel bad about emailing me and asking for help or coming on the WebEx or coming into the lab. You, you're more than welcome to come into the lab and work anytime the lab is open. Uh, not just to do your in-class assignment. Some some students in the past, they want to come to the lab and work because the lab is quiet. They can work without interruption and without distraction. Uh, and like I said, the lab tutors are there to help. Uh, I'm there most days of the week, maybe not in the lab, but I'm on campus and can come over. So feel free to come into the lab and work, you know, at any time. 
All right, so let's uh, let's have a, a great semester here, okay?